Hi, it's Maxine Kay from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living, and yoga has the night off. So you just have me tonight. Well, here we are now. We're moving right into January. We're already a few days into the new year, and uh, things change and they don't change. We have noticed that the weather has become quite cold. We've been getting some promises of snow and certainly the temperatures have been uh, appropriate for that but we didn't have the precipitation so we didn't get that now we're hearing that there might be some icy rain soon and we prefer snow don't we but we we just take whatever it is that is given and we adapt and we work with it and we prepare ourselves and we move through it every time I was thinking about the children at Christmas time, which was not very long ago, and how excited they get. Remember when you were a child, how very excited you would get about Christmas and birthdays and other great experiences where something wonderful was about to happen for you? And you had some ideas about the way it ought to be. You had some very specific pictures of what you wanted and how you wanted it to look and, and what you wanted to do. And sometimes you were thrilled, and other times you were disappointed. And sometimes it was a little of each. Well, I have found, as I have matured to the degree that I have, that I much prefer contentment and gratitude over excitement. Oh, I'll still get quite enthusiastic because I have a lot of enthusiasm and enthusioso and and theos and theos means in God. So when we're really happy and enthusiastic, we are living from that center of the divine that is within and all around us. Enthusiasm, yes. Contentment, oh yes. And gratitude, most definitely. I much prefer those experiences to this sense of excitement. Excitement uh, kind of burns itself out after a while. I would much rather be peaceful and thankful. It's a steadier kind of happiness than excitement and disappointment. And so I appreciate being content. I appreciate, as Reverend Mike's been sharing with you, how we have our place back again, as much as we loved Christmas and the decorations, the tree, the lights, everything, as much as we loved it. Wasn't it wonderful? Did you find this in your own homes? That it was wonderful to start putting things away for next year? And we'll be delighted to welcome them back. But right now it's comfortable, it's our place. It's the way we like it to look and feel. And so we move through these changes with as much grace and ease as possible. The cold days, the warm days, the wet days, the dry days. And maybe we'll eventually really have that snow that they keep talking about. Again, it will happen at the bright and perfect time. And we will be ready for it. We have our snow shovels out. We have our snow boots ready. And we'll just be happy when it comes. In the meantime, we'll be happy in the meantime. <laughs> there is no reason not to continue with being content and grateful. There is every reason to be that. So tomorrow, Reverend Mike will be speaking to you for our love note time with or without Miss Yoga on his lap. It depends on, on uh, whether she's awake or asleep. <laughs> And so uh, we look forward to that. He always has something wonderful to share. So we love you. We appreciate you. We look forward to being with you every day, one way or another. So enjoy your contentment. Be in gratitude. Let's just give thanks every day for the changeless, which is the eternal reality of truth, the divine, in the middle of all the changes. See you soon.